President Joe Biden is scheduled to speak with Chinese President Xi Jinping this morning as the White House warns Beijing that providing any military assistance to Russia will result in severe consequences. The meeting is the first opportunity for President Biden to assess where President Xi Jinping stands on the war. A wildfire in West Texas forcing evacuations in the northern part of Taylor County. It includes portions of Abilene, which has a population of about 125,000 people. So far, more than 38,000 acres have burned. Luckily, no injuries have been reported. No word yet on the containment. The United Kingdom is dropping all remaining COVID-19 travel measures today. The new measures allow all travelers, regardless of vaccination status, to enter without a passenger locator form or negative coronavirus test. The updated measures come even as COVID-19 case counts are rising. More than 444,000 people in the UK tested positive in the seven days leading up to March 14th, up 48% from the week prior. Moderna asking the FDA to authorize a second COVID booster shot for everyone 18 and older. The company says in a news release that its request is based partly on recent U.S. and Israeli data following the emergence of the Omicron variant. Pfizer and BioNTech have also asked the FDA for emergency use authorization for an additional booster of their mRNA COVID vaccine. However, the application was only for adults 65 and older. Two people were killed and two others injured when gunfire broke out at a Broward County Transit bus yesterday afternoon. The suspected gunman surrendered to police at the scene. Authorities say the commotion may have led to a car accident that injured three other people. Fort Lauderdale police say this was not an officer-involved shooting and the bus driver was not injured. This is what's left of a Walmart fulfillment center in Indiana after a massive fire burned for about 24 hours. It took more than 200 firefighters to put out the blaze. Officials on the scene saying the fire safety systems in the building were working correctly, but the fire was just too big. All 1,000 employees did get out safely. No one was hurt. Walmart says it will reassign all impacted workers to other jobs within the company. Still no word yet on how this all started. The U.S. labor market still going gangbusters. Jobless claims fell to 214,000 last week, still near historically low levels. The Labor Department reporting the four-week average fell to 223,000. U.S. industrial output grew last month. The Federal Reserve says manufacturing rose 1.2 percent. It's the largest monthly gain since October. Economists now expect manufacturing will hold up even with the war in Ukraine. Despite asking to be removed, Dolly Parton will stay on the nominee list for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The country music legend said she wanted to decline her nomination because she says it's like putting ACDC in the Country Music Hall of Fame. If selected, Dolly Parton could join diverse nominees this year, Eminem and Duran Duran. Amazon has closed a deal to buy a legendary movie studio. The online retailer announced it is acquiring MGM for $8.5 billion. MGM is one of the most iconic movie studios in Hollywood and home to 17,000 television shows and more than 4,000 films, including the James Bond franchise. The movie will give Amazon streaming service Prime Video more content and help it compete with rivals such as Netflix and Disney+. And that's today's 9 at 9.